there's one type of product out there that you as an eBay seller should consider not selling any longer. So we're gonna talk about that here on the other side. So without any further ado, let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. And for those of you who watched my previous videos uh, over the weekend, I had a uh, situation where my account was suspended uh, initially for three days and it ended up being like closer to two days when it was all said and done because the uh, halfway through they reversed their decision and uh, appealed my case and uh, things should be back to normal at this point. But I want to tell you that based on my experience, okay, based on everything that's happened to me over the last six months that this particular type of item is one you should consider no longer selling at all. And I know it's a need item. We talk about need versus wants and focus on the needs over the wants, but there's just too much risk as an eBay seller to sell this type of item. And what type of item is that? It's really anything that's HBA and that's health and beauty. So you'll see pallets, maybe you're buying a pallet from health and beauty. Um, or maybe you just have some health and beauty stuff that you came across. Um, I gotta tell you guys, it's really not a good idea to sell this kind of stuff anymore. Um, at the very least, if you still have to sell HBA health and beauty, um, make sure the item has an FDA logo on the back, if it's FDA approved. If you do not see anything that says FDA approved on the back of the package, then put it back down, don't sell it. Maybe try Mercari, try another way to get rid of it, but uh, don't put your account health at risk because I gotta tell you guys, maybe it's a year, and I didn't get the information on this, but maybe it's a year, I don't know how long it is before these warnings go away. Maybe they don't go away. Maybe this is always going to be hanging over my head. But you know, the first warning was I sold a like a four pack of this wart cream, okay? Um, Again, I'm checking comps on eBay. I'm checking the listed items. I'm checking the solds for the very same item, very same quantities, right? And each and every time I'm finding that these items are currently being sold on eBay, right? So there is no comprehensive list on eBay where you can go down and find a checklist and say, ah, I can sell proactive, okay? This is not a, this is not a prescription item but you will be hit if your item is deemed as an item that is not supposed to be sold on their site you'll be hit with a warning that says you violated ebay's prescription and over-the-counter drug policy okay and the first one the wart cream got me a slap on the wrist saying hey you may not have known so we're just letting you know we've removed the listing the second time I listed this and I think at that time my account was on someone's uh, back office log or flagged for, for this kind of thing. Um, listed this proactive and uh, within I'd say two or three hours this was removed with another warning saying hey you know we already told you but you can't list this kind of stuff on eBay. So I called the supervisor if you know the story the supervisor ended up saying, you know what, they should never have pulled this down, we'll reinstate the listing. And uh, uh, all I did was do an end and sell similar on this in December, this listing was up for two months, and they flagged it again, okay, even though it's allowed right now. Um, they flagged it again, I said, you know what, forget it, I ain't selling that anymore, I don't care, it's brand new, still perfect, but you know what, uh, I guess I'm not gonna be able to help someone with their acne problem today. Fast forward to the videos I put out over the weekend. This stuff, it's mouthwash. It's for uh, like pre-surgery type thing uh, to kill all those critters in your mouth before they go in with a hacksaw and do whatever they have to do to your mouth. Well, new FDA logo on this and it's not there. And the problem that we have as sellers is that eBay is not transparent. They do not have a comprehensive list that says, here is a list of items you can or cannot sell, okay? And the, uh, the problem also is, you know, I was told by a representative in the United States uh, in, in the Trust and Safety Department, well, if you're, you're not sure, all you have to do is call and we'll be able to tell you if that item is okay or not. 
Well, the problem with that is um, your people aren't given good information, okay? So let's say 80% of the reps know how to find the answer. The other 20% is giving bad information and setting up you and I for failure and that just shouldn't happen. Why eBay doesn't come up with, here's a comprehensive list. We're gonna add and delete to this list you know, quite often, maybe every quarter, maybe every year. And that way we can go in and if we need to do maybe a, a text search to find the brand name or the, you know, in this case it's called Perioxidin Laser Mouthwash, I could type that in and it'll give me results if it's on the list or if it's not. And I don't have to rely on someone just guessing or giving me their best answer. But um, they're like, yeah, call in. Well, the problem is we're not always going to get the good reps. So you're at a disadvantage. Your account is going to have this hanging over you. If you have these warnings, you could be flagged like I was, and it's not worth it, guys. So for me, it's a hard pass on these health and beauty items, even though it is a need item that we talk about when uh, the economy tightens up and we want to focus on these need items, the things that people are going to need. And unfortunately, you might have the best products in the world, but this is one of those health and beauty. Anything that requires an FDA approval um, and doesn't have one, you need to stay away from. And even then, if it has an FDA approval, I would be really, really, really careful uh, if uh, for selling it. Any kind of cream, any kind of um, over-the-counter medicine, any kind of thing like that, you're gonna want to be very, very careful about. So I want your comments down below. I want your thoughts on this topic. Do you sell health and beauty? Uh, have you been selling it for a while? Uh, have you had any kind of uh, repercussions like I have selling uh, health and beauty or over-the-counter stuff that has been deemed as prescription when you know good and well it's an over-the-counter item? Put your comments down below and uh, let me know your thoughts on this. If you like the video, if you enjoyed the time that we put into these videos, please hit that like button. That's all I really ask. Of course, if you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. I certainly appreciate that. If you want to be part of the live streams that we have uh, you know, every Monday and Friday, consider hitting that notification bell so you can be notified the next time uh, that happens. So guys, selling things like this, health and beauty, okay, may seem innocent and we're helping somebody out out there. But unfortunately, eBay doesn't see it that way. And eBay won't give us the tools to make sure that we're abiding by their policies. So the best answer is just to avoid it altogether. But yet, it's just another example of how sometimes flipping ain't easy. And I want you guys to have a great rest of your week. Um, do me a favor, check out this video here and uh, right here. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this topic. And until next time, have a great rest of your week.